Okay. So okay. first of all, put your glasses on. Um, okay. I can't do this in like how it would really happen. So that's why we have to use something really cold so you can kind of see the changes. So I've got okay. some liquid nitrogen. Fair enough. Because why wouldn't we? Why all would right? you? Why because wouldn't we? This so just is hanging around That's exactly your house. right. If you ever wondered what the temperature was on uh, Mars, we're about 320 degrees below zero. So this is liquid nitrogen. Remember nitrogen, most of the air that we breathe is nitrogen. So we're just gonna use this to get it cold. Okay. okay. So let me use the balloon. All right, so let's pretend like this is our timer, okay? Uh -huh. So uh, the air's not gonna my come time. out, all, all right. right? So let me hold on here. I just don't wanna put my fingers down inside, otherwise that's a whole new experiment. Yeah, oh yeah. It's, Something I it's don't think so we're fun not, when the paramedics come time. to my okay, music. Yeah. All right, so watch what happens. If you watch very, very closely, as we submerge it, this is exactly what happens with the tire, but really on a much easier uh, level, I mean a, a slower level. The molecules, when they get cold, start to contract the molecules get closer and closer together. So this is a really dramatic representation, but take a look at this. I'm gonna turn my breath into a liquid. So as we push it down, we get it closer and closer. Pull out that um, flashlight okay. and turn it on, and we're gonna hold it up, and we're actually gonna see, if you can see that my breath is turned into a liquid. Look right there at the bottom. Can you kind of see how my breath oh, at the very yeah. bottom there is turned look into a liquid? That. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and so yeah. now watch, when it, it starts to warm back up again, look at what's happening. It's getting warmer and warmer. warmer? and it's coming back exactly the way that it started. So if you had, for example, tire pressure that changed this morning, and my glasses get all fogged up at the same time. Yeah. If your tire pressure changed, the experts uh, say that it'll change maybe four uh, pounds one way or another. So if that sensor comes out and says that you've got a low tire pressure, when it warms back up again to outside, those molecules expand, expand and then you're back. So the danger is you don't want to- um, Change that tire pressure. Especially when it's cold. So if right. you want to, uh, if you have a low tire pressure, the last thing you want to do is go put in a whole bu bunch of air now because when it warms up, you can see the problem. This is a, a just a, a soda bottle and I've capped it off, but kind of watch what happens when the soda bottle goes inside. You actually get to hear it start to crinkle. Oh, there it goes. That's just amazing. So Look all we're that. doing just is the collapses. air. Isn't that amazing? So that's the air that we breathe. And of course, when it starts to warm back up again, that's going to start to expand and work its way back out again. Isn't that just amazing? And it'll just go back. It'll go back to the way it was. Hopefully we didn't crack the bottle. So the secret here is, if you have low tire pressure, don't change it now, because now uh, the molecules have contracted, gotten a, a yeah. little bit closer together, and so yeah, it may go down as much as four pounds, and because of these new sensors that we have right now, that's exactly what happens.